So then guys, we just had the announcement of the brand new Mac Mini with its whole new design and the introduction of the M4 and the M4 Pro inside of it. But a lot of you guys are wondering, well, how much more powerful is this new M4 Pro chipset compared to the likes of say the M2 Pro that we've previously had inside the Mac Mini right now? Well, the great news is that for you guys, I'm going to do a review of specs, especially for you to tell you the differences between the new M4 Mac Mini compared to the last generation M2 Pro Mac Mini. And with that, let's get started. So then, as you can see right here, we have the M4 Mac Mini, the brand new one on the left, and then we have the older one on the right. And let's get started first of all with the actual dimensions. So the new Mac Mini with the M4 is a brand new design, and it looks like a sort of slim down version of the Mac Studio, and we've got all the dimensions here. So the new Mac Mini M4 height is five centimeters, and then its width and its depth is 12.7 centimeters. So really, in conclusion, what we're talking about here, we're talking about two inches tall and then five by five inches here for the Mac Mini M4, whereas the previous generation, the height was thinner, I will give you that, but obviously it had a bigger footprint by about 50% or so. So its width was 19.7 centimeters and the depth was 19.7 centimeters. So we are definitely getting a smaller factor Mac Mini here with the M4. And then moving on to the weight, there are some changes that we can see here that are really positive. The weight of the new Mac Mini with the M4 Pro inside of it is about half the weight of the Mac Mini M2 Pro. It's 0.73 kilograms compared to 1.21 kilograms. What well, is absolutely amazing to see that we're getting a far more lighter desktop on your desk. But then moving on, another big question you guys are probably wanting to know is what about supported monitors? How many monitors can you plug in? Well, the good news is the Mac Mini with the M4, you can actually plug one cable straight into the HDMI port on the rear, and then you can also connect up two USB-C uh, monitors at the same time. But obviously this would only display at say 60 Hertz. You couldn't go all the way up to 8K on all three of these monitors at the same time, but you can plug in just one single 8K monitor, what is really, really good to know with this. But obviously there's lots of different variants on Apple's websites and what you could do here, but the maximum you could do is three monitors. Whereas the Mac Mini M2, you could only plug in two monitors, one into the HDMI and one on the one of the USB-C ports on the rear. But then moving on, then the comparison then of the actual processor. What's going on underneath the new Mac Mini? Now this is not a bit of a deja vu here, this is actually is correct. The M4 Pro has a 12 core CPU and a 16 core GPU, whereas the Mac Mini with the M2 Pro also had a 12 core CPU and a 16 core GPU. It's the exact same amount of cores. There's been no differences here whatsoever what you can pick from between either of these Mac Minis. Obviously, the M4 Pro is now made on a three nanometer process, whereas the M2 Pro was made on a five nanometer process, and it's a far more faster and far more efficient process than what we had before. So this is is definitely a big difference that you're going to be getting here then. And then obviously the GPU cores, we've got things like ray tracing now in the M4 Pro, whereas the M2 Pro never had ray tracing, for example. So there are going to be some significant big differences here. And when we get the chance to see some more Geekbench sort of scores, hopefully very, very soon, I am quite sure that obviously the M4 Pro is definitely going to shine really well against what we have with the M2 Pro in the older Mac Mini. But then for RAM though, there is a change right here. With the Mac Mini now, with the M4 Pro, it actually starts out with 24 gigabytes of RAM. What is fantastic to see. Apple just didn't increase the RAM amount in say the 16 gigabytes up with the normal M4. The M4 Pro also has a boost up now to 24 gigabytes as the base amount, which is great to see. And you've got the choice of picking 48 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. Whereas the old Mac mini with the M2 Pro had the choice of 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes, or 32 gigabytes here. We have basically 
doubled the other two options there. Not the base amount, but the other two. What is fantastic to see here with the likes of the M4 Pro. And then for storage, well, we actually have now a new extra option available with the Mac Mini M4 Pro. We can actually go all the way up to eight terabytes with it. And the great news is the base amount of storage is exactly the same as the Mac Mini with the M2 Pro, what is 512 gigabytes. So that is the set amount what you get as the base amount there. But then for ports, things have changed here quite a bit. So now with the Mac Mini M4, we actually have five times USB-C ports, our Thunderbolt ports here, also an HDMI and also the Ethernet port too. Whereas the Mac Mini M2 actually had a few more USB ports on it. So you could actually choose up to four times USB-C ports, but you also automatically got two USB-A ports. So, you know, those USB-A ports are completely scrapped now on the Mac Mini M4, but you did also get HDMI and Ethernet too. But obviously there were no ports sitting on the actual front of this Mac Mini. But then moving on to the actual operating system, both of them run Mac OS Sequoia here with no problems whatsoever. And both of them can also run the latest and greatest Mac OS Sequoia or, you know, 15.1 version, what has Apple intelligence built in. So you can use all those goodies there, what Apple are providing. And then obviously more Apple intelligence bits and pieces are going to drop without throughout the next year or so. So that's really good to hear too. For speakers, both of them have a basic speaker inside of them. So I'm not really going into detail here. Really, you should plug in some external speakers or speakers on your monitors or something like this. Moving on then to Wi-Fi speeds. Now I must apologize in my last video with the M4, I said it was Wi-Fi 7, it isn't. It is actually, we've got Wi-Fi 6E, which is still really, really good. And this is in both of the machines. We've still got Wi-Fi 6E in both of them. What is still really, really good to see, but I, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing actually Wi-Fi 7 inside. For Bluetooth technology, well, both of them have the exact same technology inside of them. They have Bluetooth 5.3, so there's no differences here whatsoever. And then for the price, the price starts at exactly the same amount as last time. So this is 1,399 US dollars. And this will give you the base amount of storage for 512 gigabytes, the M4 Pro, and also 24 gigabytes of RAM inside the Mac Mini M4. Whereas before we only had 16 gigabytes of RAM, the M2 Pro, and also 512 gigabytes of storage at the same price. So we're getting a whole new design. We're getting, you know, a better amount of RAM inside and obviously the M4 Pro is going to outshine the M2 Pro easily as we talked about earlier. So this is a really, really great deal to see that Apple have actually managed to maintain the price here and also give us a brand new design too. But for colors though, last of all, they're both silver. There has been no changes here whatsoever. So unfortunately there's no space black or anything like that. Just one color option going forwards. And with that, will you be buying yourself a new Mac Mini? So then, as you can see, the new Mac Mini is amazing in my opinion. I think it's brilliant. And especially you've got the M4 Pro inside of it. It's really, really powerful for the new Mac Mini. And I know a lot of you guys have been looking for such a small factor PC to have or small factor Mac and yet have loads and loads of power inside of it. And this is exactly what the new Mac Mini with the M4 Pro is going to give us, especially with those extra GPU cores, the 14 core, you know, inside it for the CPU. I, for one, am super excited to test out this new M4 Pro Mac Mini when it comes out on November 2nd. That's when we'll be able to get our hands on it. And I cannot wait for one to actually test this out, try out all the new features and everything, because I am super excited for this. But what about you guys? Are you excited about the new Mac Mini? We're having an M4 and M4 Pro inside of it. And are you planning on getting one? Let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, just like what we've done today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.